After a brilliant season starter in Yokohama in May, Montreal welcomed the top paratriathletes of the world to compete in the second World Triathlon Para Series of the year. The field was stacked with world champions, Paralympic gold medalists, and Paralympic hopefuls aiming for Paris 2024, with everyone getting ready for the world championships that will take place in Abu Dhabi in November this year. Here in Montreal, the spectacular venue of Parc Jean Drapeau saw the athletes take to the Bassin Olympic for the 750 meter swim before transitioning out and onto five laps of the Gilles Villeneuve racetrack, home of the F1 Grand Prix. The race concluded with a track on the side of the lake, providing triathletes with an iconic setting to finish the race. Paratriathlon was included for the first time in the Rio 2016 Paralympic program and has been growing ever since everywhere around the world. The sport offers a unique and inclusive opportunity for athletes with recognized types of impairments to perform at elite levels in a modern and dynamic sport. PTS2 to PTS5 separates different types of impairments. PTVI is for visually impaired athletes and finally PTWC for wheelchair users. All six medal events represented here in Montreal will now be included in the upcoming 2024 Paralympic Games. Starting with the PTS5 male category, all eyes were turned to local favorite Stefan Daniel with the hope to repeat his recent win in A Corona, Spain. After the start and then to the swim, Daniel trailed closely behind Felipe Marquez of Portugal and took the lead in lap three of the bike. From that point on, no one was able to catch him as he crossed the finish line first ahead of USA Chris Hammer with a blazing fast time of 59.10. Definitely by far the best race of the year and I was really happy with my swim. I think that helped set up the rest of the race, but uh, yeah, I had to push right to the end of the day. I know they were, they were, catch, they were chasing me pretty hard, so really happy with that for sure. Uh, the strategy honestly was just to have a, a good swim. That's all I was thinking about and just try to be as close to Philip as I could. Um, it's very, very hard to go with them, so if I'm even remotely close, I know that I've done a good job. So that was the goal, and then just figure it out from there. It was an emotional moment for Daniel, who competed in front of his friends and for the very first time with his girlfriends in the stands. For the women PTS5, local favorite Camille Frenet also had a great race, matching her personal best in a World Triathlon Para Series by taking the second step of the podium. But as expected, it was Grace Norman from the USA who crossed the line first with a convincing win. The 2016 gold medalist in Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games silver medalist transitioned from swim to bike only six seconds ahead of Frenet to slowly increase her lead every step of the way as she crossed the line four minutes ahead of the Canadian. French Paralympian Gladys Le Moussu completed the podium behind the American and the Canadian. With Paralympic champion Alexis Akincan from France missing from the competition, the field was wide open for new faces to emerge in the PTS4 category. Australian Jeremy Peacock took this chance Jeremy to win ahead Peacock. of Finley James of Great Britain and Eric McElvany of the US, who battled all the way to the line for a very close finish for the second place. Amazing. That's um, my first gold medal at uh, a World Series. So. Yeah, just unbelievable. So good, so good. From Australia, you know, we haven't raced for, for two years with COVID, so um, based myself over in Europe um, since June and just some good, solid training. Um, I train with able bodies as well, so racing against able bodies and training with them, you know, pushes you to that next level. So, yeah, just consistency is the key. On the women's side, it was Kelly Emlinger from the U.S. who crossed the line first after a close battle with Marta Frances Gomez from Spain in the first two-leg of the race. Despite losing her bike in transportation and having to compete with a borrowed one, Sally Pilbeam of Australia put in a very strong effort finishing fourth in her first race in over two years.
Two-time Paralympic champion Jetsi Platt and the Netherlands clearly show their dominance once again in the PTWC male category. Platt and fellow Dutchman Gert Schipper felt very comfortable with the fast racetrack here in Montreal as both athletes were in command from start to finish, increasing their lead in every leg of the race. Fast courses on the, on the swim, on the bike and on the run actually. And I felt strong. Um, had a good swim at another time, but it was good enough. Then a really fast uh, bike uh, bike part. I think 43 F-rates or something. And last winter I focused a bit more on the run, so uh, the run was really strong today. For this year, the end of the year, I do some marathons on the run. Wheelchair marathons. Um, in the past it was my not my strongest point, so I, I focus more on that and uh, I'm really curious about the marathon and uh, that will help me uh, for the triathlon as well, I think. 50-year-old Giovanni Akenza from Italy was able to keep his third place finish despite a strong push at the end from Nick Beveridge of Australia. In the female PTWC category, favorite and silver Paralympic medalist Lauren Parker put on a show leading from start to finish and closing the race with a substantial lead over Tokyo Paralympic champion Kendall Gretsch from the USA, who was back to paratriathlon after a very successful winter game in Paranordic. I worked on everything, swim, back and run, but especially uh, my bike leg. Um, even though it's my strongest leg, um, and it has been my strongest leg, I really wanted to improve it a lot more. So I've been working on that and, and just getting the little things right, like transitions and stuff like that. Um, which wasn't the best result for me um, in Tokyo, but I'm so happy to be here and back racing the sprint and distance. Uh, and, you know, it's great competition out here today, and I'm, I'm glad to take the win. Yeah. Up and comer Canadian athlete Leanne Taylor finished third after an unfortunate crash and disqualification from Jessica Ferreira from Brazil. In the women's PTVI category, Tokyo Paralympic champion Susana Rodriguez was the heavy favorite as she dominated most of the recent events. She faced three opponents making their international debut here in Montreal. Despite leading in the swim in a strong effort from Francesca Tarantello, it was Rodriguez who crossed the line first with a convincing lead. And I am happy to be here and improving my performance along the year. I had a challenging winter with some uh, personal uh, challenges and uh, now I am starting to see the light, see the light, <laughs> but uh, it's lovely to be here and Montreal is always nice. On the men's side, nine athletes took the start at the Bessin Olympic in what was expected to be a hard-fought race. After just over an hour of racing and despite coming out of the water in the sixth place, it was Kyle Kuhn from the USA who crossed the line first, making this win his second of the season. We really wanted to have a smooth, strong swim and then try to do out of sight, out of mind on the bike. Go out hard, try to stay out in front and then just finish on the run and first if you can. Uh. Well, I think uh, anytime you win a gold medal, it uh, it, it's, it's kind, it kind of hurts and uh, it feels really great at the same time. So love, love that burn, love that pain of, of winning. Oscar Kelly from Great Britain and Gerasimos Lignos from Greece completed the podium. Montreal hosted a fantastic race and gave the athletes a great opportunity to experience the fast speed of a Formula One bike race. Next up will be in Swanson, UK, who will host a World Triathlon Paris Series race for the first time on August 6th. Merci Montréal et on se revoit en Grande-Bretagne.